Hi everyone. We've been learning about ecosystems, how animals eat other animals or plants to survive. Today we're going to do an activity about owls. Owls are amazing animals. You probably know that they are nocturnal and that they are carnivores. They eat the things that they can find at night. So small furry animals running around on the forest floor like mice and chipmunks and squirrels. In this area, the owls that you are most likely to see or hear are great horned owls. They're pretty big. And eastern screech owls. They're pretty small. No matter what kind of owls they are, they all have a couple of really cool adaptations that help them to survive. They sneak up on their prey, so if they were very noisy, they wouldn't be very successful hunters. They have very, very fluffy feathers, and when they fly at night, their feathers hardly make any sound at all, and that helps them to sneak up on their prey. When they eat something, like a mouse, they don't tear it apart the way some animals do with their food. They eat the whole thing, they swallow it, but the fur and the bones aren't useful to them. They don't get energy from them, so they do something very cool. They swallow the prey whole, and they have two stomachs, sort of. The mushy parts of the mouse are the parts that they digest. That stuff moves on to the second stomach and the owl uses it for energy. The fur and the bones, they don't need that. The owl smushes the fur and bones into a little ball called a pellet and then it spits it up. Luckily for us, some people walk around forests looking for these little owl pellets. They collect them and they sell them to companies that bake them to kill the germs and then sell them to people who can take them apart and find the bones inside. So if you are interested in buying owl pellets to take apart, you can. Today we're going to do a virtual owl pellet dissection. The cool thing about taking apart an owl pellet is that you can see all the bones inside from the thing that the owl ate. It's usually mice. And the bones don't get broken usually. So you can take out perfectly formed, in perfect condition, tiny, tiny, tiny little bones. And you can put together an entire mouse skeleton. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do a virtual owl pellet dissection. So you're going to go to a website. I'm going to give you the site on the next page. And you're going to um, click on virtual owl pellet. You can look at the information if you want. When you're ready to dissect, you click on the dissection tab. And I would like you to turn on the labels. Turn the labels on. That'll help you out. And I would also like you to turn the sound on if you can. If you turn on the sound, it tells you the names of things and it'll help you figure out where the bones go. So you're going to click on the pellet over here. This is the ball of fur and bones. When you click on it, you'll start taking the fur off. And underneath the fur, you'll find the bones. And then you drag the bones over, and if you drag them to the right spot, they'll click into the right spot. And you can put together an entire mouse skeleton. It's a little tricky to get them in the right spot. Some of the bones look pretty similar. If you get frustrated, don't worry about it. You don't have to complete the entire skeleton. That would take more time than we have. I'd like you to spend about 10 minutes on putting together the mouse skeleton. On the next slide, you'll see all the directions and you'll see what I would like you to do after working on the mouse skeleton. 